Hello, I'm Andy Rash, the technical trainer for DMAC Cranes and Components. Today I want to continue our videos on basic adapsy and discuss in particular the service reset function. Service reset should be conducted after every brake adjustment, after every board change, and after every monitoring switch change. It resets counter values for the predictive maintenance and resets the counter for the brake run-on that's in association with the internal encoder and the monitoring switch of the brake. These values are recorded in counters that we've shown in previous video in operating data and in the statistics folders. The way to change the counter back to zero is using basic adapsy and performing service reset. In effect, it's changing that parameter, which is a counter value, so it's more of a value that should be zeroed. It is the only function for changing a parameter or value that basic adapsy can do. It is often found undone as boards were changed without somebody with a laptop computer doing the work. With the computer, we will show you how to use basic adapsy, access the service reset menu, and conduct the proper zeroing of a counter value. So I've made a connection to the crane system and I've completed a CAN bus connection and download for my hoist. Now that my hoist file is viewable, I'm going to open the operating data folder and then at the top toolbar I'll pick service and then under it reset. This opens up a box in the center of the screen which shows me the equipment that physically could be changed on the crane or adjustments that could be made and it's simply a checklist. If I put in a new control board complete I get a new K1 contactor, which I'll put a check mark in that block. I get a new K2 and K3 contactor for speed and direction. I also get a new relay for the trolley brake control. And now I say OK. The system asks if I really want to send these parameters to the hoist. I say yes. It feeds these values to the board to trigger a reset of the system. It's simply in software and I say yes, make the changes. I get an audible tone. And notice that my K1, K2, K3 counters have now turned to zeros as well as my trolley brake switch counter. If I do a brake adjustment, I would check the measured braking distance box. And zero in. I made a brake adjustment and the statistic had shown that I had totally over-traveled the amount of increments allowed in the system and lost high speed, I would put a check mark in the brake box and say OK. Now I can check that in the statistics folder to make sure the counter value for break has been zeroed. Going back to operating data, we'll look at the service reset menu one last time. The trolley travel path would be reset if I put on new trolley wheels or support rollers.
This concludes our four-part series on basic adapsy and what it can do for diagnosing and troubleshooting, as well as the service reset.